today we're just going to partition my hard drive on the Windows Vista and basically you can see I have a lot of space free and I have no other partitions so I'm just going to make a quick partition to move my stuff over just in case something goes wrong with the C drive I can move it over and not lose my data so what you do is press the start key go on to my computer right click and you can go to manage and it's going to open up your computer management window and what you do is you got to locate your storage and then you got to click on data management and it's going to bring up all these graphs and tell you how much space you have free for partitioning and you can you're looking for your C drive or I am because that's my biggest drive and that's what I want to partition so you can match it up by the amount of space you have as you can see I have 282 gigs there and on the other side of my C drive I have 282 gigs as well you notice these other three partitions they're just something else for my computer recovery you probably want to just leave them alone so what we want is a C drive what you do is you right click on it and then you go to shrink volume so it's gonna take a couple of minutes and it's gonna decide how much of the hard drive you can partition for your data or other purposes and basically you just gotta wait a little bit so after it comes up it's gonna add, it's letting me partition 80 gigabytes so for you it might be more it might be less but you can you have the choice over here to do less than that so if I want to do like 60 or 40 gigs I can choose it right there but I'm just gonna go ahead with the full 80 gigs right now and I'm just gonna go ahead it can take up to six or seven minutes to partition the hard drive but right now I time lapsed it so as you can see the unallocated spot now we gotta format it so what you do is you right click on it and then you gotta go to new simple volume and now you gotta go next and over here you can choose less than 80 gigs if you want but I'm just gonna choose the full 80 size and then go next and you can assign a drive letter I'm gonna choose the drive letter D the default go next and then right here you can give it a name I'm gonna type in data because that's what I'm gonna put on it and you just gotta make sure you click the perform quick format tab right there and you click next and you go finish that way it'll format the drive instantaneously as you can see it only took a few seconds this was not time lapsed now you can see the D drive popping up that's your new hard drive partition congratulations you can check it out in my computer refresh it you can check it out it's 80 gigabytes it's exactly how much we made it now you open it up you can add files to it you can make a new folder you can add your movies videos data whatever you want and basically there you have it but what happens if you want to delete this partition later on all you have to do is simply right click on the new partition in storage management go delete volume go yes it's going to turn green you right click again go to delete partition this time go yes it's going to become unallocated space now you click on C, you right click and then instead of shrink you go to extend volume and you go next and you select the full 80 gigs and you go next and basically it's gonna extend your volume again to the default 282 gigabytes and you go to my computer, you go refresh and as you can see my 282 gigabytes are back and that's it.